fate of J. Alexander King, Tutau, and Thomas Lane depended on the outcome of Derek Chauvin's trial. They've seen somebody get convicted. As legal expert Michael Bryant explains, the three former MPD officers must now put together their own defense strategies based on a jury finding Chauvin guilty of the murder and manslaughter they are all accused of abetting. It may make a decision about whether they testify or not. Um, that would be one part of it. Second is um, they'll get some information at some point from the jurors about what they took out of the videos. All three played different roles. Put your hands please, up please, right please. now. Lane flashed his gun at Floyd initially, then later held his legs, but asked Chauvin twice if they should roll Floyd over. Roll him on the side. His interview with BCA investigators provides insight into his potential defense. I would say I, I felt like it maybe could have been handled differently or we should be reassessing what we're doing. His partner King was on Floyd's back, but his attorney indicated in court documents he'll quote, shift blame onto Chauvin. And Tao told investigators he couldn't fully see what the other officers were doing. I was concerned with the crowd. I mean, I would hope that the other officers would, would do their job. The attorney general's office confirms it will argue next month before the court of appeals to also add third degree murder charges against the three officers, just like Chauvin. There's still time for them to negotiate plea deals, but if they move ahead to trial, they'll also have to deal with heavy publicity. The question is, you know, how do you pick a jury? Um, they may have a better venue argument. Danny Spiewak, CARE 11 News. The Attorney General's oral arguments before the Court of Appeals to add third-degree murder is scheduled for May 20th.